Hey everybody, Pocket Doc at Archangel Medical. Going to talk to you really quick today about med kits and why we think that our med kits are probably some of the best med kits on the planet. Now, we don't claim to have the best med kits on the planet like some people do, but we think ours are pretty doggone awesome. The reason why we think ours are awesome is one simple word, science. Okay, evidence-based medicine is a big thing. And if you're putting things into a trauma kit that are not based in science, they're not based in fact, they're not based in evidence-based medicine, then you're putting stuff in your med kit that shouldn't really be there in the first place. And it's not really a trauma kit, it's just more of a glorified first aid kit with a lot of false confidence and a lot of false hopes. It's kind of like throwing some essential oils and hopes and prayers into your kit along with some fairy dust and unicorn tears and hoping that in a bad situation that it works. <clears throat> Now, in traumatic injuries, when we were dealing with traumatic injuries, and our company's been doing this for a long time, um, when it comes to traumatic injuries, the big things we have to worry about are stopping the bleeding and starting the breathing. That's what we always teach in class. Stop the bleeding, start the breathing. At least get this done until help arrives, because that's the big thing. You know, uh, urban EMS response times, this is 2017 standards, it's like up to eight minutes or so. And that can be even longer depending on traffic or the time of day, other calls involved, things like that. You go to a rural area, it can go two, three, four times that long. So in a time is life situation, you've got to be your own first responder. Nobody is coming to help you, okay? You are it, you are your own 911 because in a bad situation, you can bleed out pretty quickly, um, in less than five minutes, actually. So you got to learn how to act quickly, uh, decisively, uh, effectively, okay? You've got to do that on your own, you're it. So you've got to maintain a, a calm mindset. You've got to do what needs to be done to help yourself or someone else in that traumatic situation because literally their life can be measured in seconds. You know, time is definitely life in this situation. Um, our trauma kits, that's the reason to keep them simple, okay? We have the whole saying, you know, simplicity under stress. Our trauma kits are equipped with only what you need to stop the bleeding and start the breathing. Nothing else, just stopping the bleeding, starting the breathing. That's it, We've gotta keep things simple. Every trauma kit, every trauma kit you buy, regardless of where you buy it from, or one you roll your own, that's what we tell people. We don't care if you buy one from us, if you buy one from somebody else, or you roll your own. But all these trauma kits should, at a minimum, have some of these things that we're gonna talk about. Nitrile gloves, okay? Some nice thick nitrile gloves. A scientifically proven tourniquet like the cat right here. Soft T-Wide is also another excellent choice and another excellent option that we sell, okay? This is scientifically proven. Some sort of hemostatic agent. All of our trauma kits have hemostatic agents in there. And the reason why we have hemostatic agents in there is because hemostatic agents like this quick clot bleeding control dressing help facilitate this, the stoppage of bleeding much faster than it would naturally, much faster than it would occur naturally, okay? It stops bleeding in areas not amenable to tourniquet use and it works in times much better than standard gauze. Some companies have outdated technology uh, or uh, and you know, uh, and hemostatic agents using like granular agents, which is totally outdated. We stopped using that uh, years ago, okay? Because the gauze, uh, the impregnated gauze has a much better delivery to the source of the bleed, okay? Um, and some companies just will use standard gauze. And there have been studies as recent as 2016 that say that a hemostatic gauze works better than standard gauze because it helps facilitate the clot much faster. Okay, um, and they do this. A lot of companies do this just to have a lower price. We don't cheap out on our on our stuff, on our kits. Occlusive dressings, something else. Our kits should have an occlusive dressing. Hyphen compact vented chest seals. These are something in there that can that can uh, you know cover the penetrating injuries to our box. Halo chest seals, hyphen chest seals. Any of these uh, cover our box, and it keeps outside air from coming in to where it doesn't belong, which is right here. Positive pressure going into where negative pressure is is a bad thing because that's going to that's what's going to collapse your lungs. Okay. Um, 
a pressure bandage, okay, whether it's a Lias, whether it's an ETD, whether it's an Izzy, whether it's a H&H mini compression bandage, any kind of compression bandage you need to maintain pressure over wounds and if you use some sort of hemostatic gauze, it's got to hold that gauze in place, okay. Um, so that is the most, those are some of the most important things that at a bare minimum you need to have in a no, no crap, no frills trauma kit, okay. But because by having only these few simple items, these few simple items, you reduce your chances of confusion in a stressful situation. And that confusion in a chaotic situation can lead to hesitation. Hesitation can lead to death, okay? Because we've got to know what we have, where we have it, and how to use it, okay? Big time. We don't put cool stuff, we don't put cheap stuff into our kits. We put products in our kits which are backed by science and evidence-based medicine and not only that they're proven to in some of the most inhospital environments in the world you know we don't put stuff in there that my brother's cousins tim joe bob heard from his sister-in-law's brother that it worked once or twice okay a broke watch is right twice a day you got to put something in there that works consistently consistently and it has scientific evidence to back it up, okay? Not anecdotal evidence. Our kits are designed with that simplicity and stress in mind. Our pouches are designed to be open quickly and easily, even with diminished motor function under stress. You pull that kit open with that big grab, that lid, that, that grab style uh, uh, tab on the lid. You grab the lanyard on the inside, you pull that up, and the insert comes out in your hand. When you open the insert up, there's quick tear notches all over the place so we can operate this stuff under duress and under diminished fine motor function, okay? We've got to do that so we can start treating people faster and more effectively. We're not trying to be edgy. We're not trying to be trendy. We're trying to make a difference. That's all. We're trying to make a difference. Our training and our kits have over 100 saves that we know of in the last seven years. Okay, all of our kits are backed by 100% irrefutable science. Um, they don't come with a lot of stuff in them. Uh, things which don't belong in a trauma kit, like a lot of fluff. Okay, but they, because that fluff is going to cause confusion. We just talked about that. They're easy to use. And they come with that kit for life guarantee. You use your kit to save a life, you send us some documentation, you send us back what you didn't use, we'll inspect everything, replace what you used, and send it back to you. I love doing stuff like that because that means somebody else is walking around with another freaking birthday. And how freaking cool is that? Even better than all of that other important stuff, all your friends will be super jealous that you're gonna have this sweet med kit and it's gonna be on your person, in your automobile, on your gear, anything so it's readily accessible. All I can tell you folks is get a kit, get trained, and be the difference.